Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It's a beautiful Friday and again, we are looking forward to having a great time in the house of God. Whether you are going there in drive-in services with your small children or with your family or you are online, we are thankful to have the privilege of sharing the word of God to you. Have a great time in the house of God. Now today, as we have 30 minutes of worshiping the Lord, praying together and reading His Word and doing all the fun stuff that we do here in this program, we'd like to ask if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you just want to say hi to your friends and loved ones, please give them a shout out wherever they may be around the world and let us know where you are at. It is always awesome to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you, my brother and my sister, and I ask, O oh God, that your hand will be upon them. I ask God that your strength will be upon them. I ask God that your covering will be upon them. Thank you so much, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you so much, Lord, for your promises that sustain us until the end. Thank you so much, Lord, that even right now, you are covering Tatai and Nanai with your presence. We pray, Lord, that you bless our time together. Fill their hearts with joy, O oh God, and strengthen their bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's open our hearts and worship the Lord. Good morning. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the cause of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, they will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright, He's my rock, and there's no wickedness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Your love never fails. Your love never fails. It never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up never runs out on me your love never fails it never gives up never runs out on me your love and it's higher than the mountains that i face and it's stronger than the power of the grave and it's constant in the trial and the change this one thing remains your love your love never fails it never gives up never runs out on me your love never fails it never gives up never runs out on me your love never fails it never gives up never runs out on me your love in death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My debt is paid, there's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love. In death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My debt is paid. There's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love. Your love never fails. It never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up. 
never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love. And it's higher than the mountains that I face. And it's stronger than the power of the grave. And it's constant in the trial and the change. This one thing remains. Your love, your love never fails. It never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love, your love, your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love, your love, your love. Amen. Blessed day to you, this is Pastor Joey, and this is your wow moment, wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it, you have proven it, and now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment for today will be coming from Psalm 103, verses 1 to 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Have you ever experienced being in a service and you're there, but you're not really there? Maybe because your mind is wandering off. And your mind is wandering off maybe because you're thinking of a chore that you were not able to finish at home. Or your mind is wandering off because you're thinking of your bills that you need to pay. Maybe your mind is wandering off because you're thinking about your health. And you're concerned about the medicines that you need to take. Maybe your mind is wandering off because you're thinking about your loved ones. Maybe your children, your grandchildren who, who are away from you and you're very concerned about them. Whatever reason it may be, sometimes we go to church and we're physically there, but our minds, our hearts are not there. And that's just too sad, right? We will miss so much. But you see, just like what we read, and let's read it again. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. It means our intellect. It means our will. It means our emotions. We bless the Lord with all of our soul. And that means with all of our emotion, with all of our thoughts, with all of our will, our intellect. We make the decision to, to, to praise the Lord. So when we come into the presence of God and your mind starts wandering off, you're thinking about things. Let that thought be redirected. Come to God. Bring it to God. Maybe you're thinking of a bill that you need to pay. Then bring it up to the Lord. And remember that God is the God who cares for you. God is the God who provides. Maybe you're thinking of your health and you're concerned about the medicines that you take. But remember, God is Jehovah Rapha. Turn that thought to God. Let God address that concern of yours so that you can worship God just like what we read with all of your soul it says again bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me whatever it is that you're feeling whatever it is that you're thinking you redirect that so that you can worship the Lord bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits and this is a very good way as scripture is teaching us how to keep our focus on the Lord. We remember His benefits. We forget not His benefits. And it's very interesting, right? The way it was said, forget not. Because it is the nature of man to be forgetful. We remember the good things. We remember the wonderful things. But sometimes when man experiences hardships, all the, they, they suddenly forget all the good times. And all they get focused on 
is the hard times, even though it's very short. This quarantine, yes, we remember this. But five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from now, it's not, it, it will not seem that long anymore because we see that this is temporary. We forget not all the benefits of God. The benefits of God far outweigh and the benefits of God definitely outlasts the trials, the challenges that we experience in life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. John 10.10, 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. From the verses that we read, the passages that we read, it's very clear. God has the plans for our welfare. The plans for our good, I'm sorry, is not in the hands of the government. Our government is still figuring things out. What we should do with our government is pray for them. But our welfare is in the hands of God. His plans for our welfare, His plans to give us a future, His plans to give us a hope, His plans to, to, to give us life and to give it abundantly. And as God does this, as God works in our lives, what does the passage say? It says that He is the God who can do far more abundantly, far more than one we can think. That's how God is. And so that is why when we come to the presence of God, and some of you, you're going to be able to go back to God's house now. Oh, for sure, you're going to enjoy worshiping the Lord. Oh, but then again, you suddenly remember, oops, I forgot something in the house. Oops, I have to do this. Oops, I have to call this person. Oops, I have to finish this. Set them all aside. Worship the Lord, enjoy the Lord, just bless the Lord with all of your soul, with all of your mind, all of your emotions, and all of your intellect. Give your all to God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. But from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find Him if you search after Him with all your heart and with all your soul. So when you seek the Lord with all of your soul, what does the scripture say? You will find Him. Enjoy yourself in the presence of God as you seek Him with all of your soul and find Him. Enjoy Him. Just have a great time in the presence of God. This has been your wow moment and our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Paula and welcome to another Sababa Moment. For today, we are going to conclude our journey to the Jordan River. So let me give you a trivia. Did you know that COP, our very own church, has a choir named Jordan River Choir, JRC. So that's not the university there in Mandaluyong, but Jordan River Choir. And we also have dancers named Jordancers. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so... Let me show you some videos of our Jordan River Choir and our Jordan Dancers. And let me show you also a video of our JRC members and Jordan dancers. And let me show you their testimony about their experience in the Jordan River. Hi everyone, we are the Saludes. My name is Josh. And I'm Yas. And we would like to share to you our experience uh, with uh, Israel Tour 2020, specifically with the Jordan River. Ayan. Yes. 
First of all, we want to praise God for uh, an opportunity to travel, especially because we, we get to travel before the pandemic season. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, He provided for that tour. Yes, uh, we'd like to praise God for that. Sobrang blessing yung nangyari na yun. And uh, it's such a privilege. We are excited nung pumunta kami. And we are happy to be where, you know, the actual place where Jesus went, actual places where uh, the Bible characters went or are staying, doon sila natutulog, doon sila na, uh, nanirahan. And one uh, of, yes. And in Jordan River, which is where Jesus actually got baptized. And we're so excited about that. And yes. being there. Yes. And, uh, uh, one of the few things that Pastor keeps talking to us and telling us is about how the river is very cold. It is really cold. Very cold. Uh, but uh, then again, uh, the experience is worth it. And, uh, uh, you know, waiting for your turns while singing and dancing. It's such a joyful atmosphere. Ayan. And we're so privileged and happy to lead people in worship there through singing as part of the Jordan River Choir yeah. and through dancing as part of the Jordan service. It was a privilege uh, to lead people in worship and most of all, it was a happy experience and being able to minister and offer our praises to God into a very, very significant place. Yes, uh, it was a very, very joyful atmosphere. Yes. Everybody was happy uh, while waiting for their turn. Everybody was excited. Everybody was you know, uh, awestruck with the idea of being baptized where Jesus was also baptized. So, uh, that's it for our experience. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Being baptized in the Jordan River was a dream which I never imagined would become a reality, but it did praise Jesus. It was an incredible experience to make that fresh decision to follow Jesus through the waters of baptism, albeit very cold ones this time, was an event which was life-changing. And then on top of that, I had the extreme pleasure of being part of the Jordan River Choir. It was amazing to be praising God and watching people go through the waters of baptism. There was just so much joy. The joy was contagious and overflowing, and I can't believe that I got to be a part of it all. Thank you, Jesus. We hope to sing and dance with you and seeing you being baptized in the Jordan River someday. And I am sure it is going to be Sababa. So speaking of crossing the Jordan and being there in the Jordan River, let me share to you this passage in Joshua chapter 3. So if you have your Bible with you, please open it with me in the New International Version and let's read it together. And we are going to talk about how the Israelites crossed the Jordan to the promised land. It says there, Early in the morning, Joshua and the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan where they camped before cross crossing over. After three days, the officers went throughout the camp, giving orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levitical priests carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you will know which way to go since you have never been this way before. But keep a distance of about 2,000 cubits between you and the ark. Do not go near it. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua said to the priests, Take up the ark of the covenant and pass on ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so that they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan's waters, go and stand in the river. Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you, and that he certainly drive you out before drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. See the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then choose twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe, and as soon as the priests who carry the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off 
and stand up in a heap. So when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at flood stage, all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the Ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at a town called Adam in the vicinity of Zarethan, while the water flowing, flowing down to the Sea of the Arabah, that is the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stopped in the middle of the Jordan and stood on dry ground, while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. Wow. So this is what Joshua was saying, doing God is going to do amazing things among you. You know, it, it will be one vision or one spectacle if you see the water dried up at its flood stage. So it, meaning if it's at its flood stage, that means it's high. The water is really flowing over, I've seen Jordan once when we pass by it someplace and the water is really at flood stage and the flow, the current is really strong and nobody dares to swim during that time. But you see how God does things. It's above what we ask for or imagine. It's beyond what we imagine. And all you have to do is just to carefully follow and carefully obey the instructions of the Lord in your life and you will be amazed at the amazing things that God is going to do and they were able to reach the promised land because they followed carefully the instructions of God and they saw how God moved and made the impossible possible so God is a God of impossible things and he will do amazing things for you if you allow him to and if you obey and trust be fully convinced and fully trust him and take him at his word now isn't he sababa thank you so much exemplars for your time and for listening to another sababa lesson today i hope you have learned something and i hope to see you again next time this is pastor paula god bless you bye Moments to remember Psalm 91 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. A stone. You will tread on the lion and the other, the young lion and the serpent. You will trample underfoot. Moments to remember. Good morning. Welcome to Golden Hour. I'm Pastor Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing. We lift our voices.
Are you ready to worship the Lord through dance? Please grab a chair and let's warm up. Psalm 149 verse 3, praise his name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Come and dance along. I'm Pastor Latin Gachalian and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you so much for always allowing us to be part of your life every time you share with us your prayer request. It's always a great joy to pray for you and see your prayers being answered. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your grace throne today and we are so humbled by your goodness and by your faithfulness in our lives. We know, God, that every time we come before you, you are always there for us. Father, for today, we lift up to you Sister Luisa Mariano as she believes for the pest control business of Brother Romano Mariano to become successful and prosperous in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for always keeping him safe and protected in his job. We also lift up to you Sister Pitang Tumaliwan as she believes for the complete healing of Janessa Venezuela who is experiencing chest pain, oh God. Thank you that by the wounds of Jesus, Sister Janessa has been healed. We also lift up to you, Lord God, Sister Lourdes Maipa, Father, as she believes for Sister Nelly Onarse's healing and strength to flow upon her body. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing her with good health and with long and satisfying years of life. Thank you, God, that every time she's weak, she is strong in your presence. We also thank you, Lord, that you will bless Sister Lydia Asas, O God, as she believes for the strength, protection, and full restoration of everything that has been lost to her sister, Lord God, who, who has been in Bohol because of this typhoon. Father, we thank you that you are the God that restores and you will restore twofold of everything that was lost in her family. Thank you, Lord God, that they will always be kept safe and protected, Lord God, in Jesus' name, and that, Lord, we are believing that they'll be able to get communication from them. Father, we also pray for Sister Angel Yoshaka, Lord God, for her daughter Chona, that, Lord, you will continue to bring healing upon her body. Lord, we rebuke that 
tumor that has been found in her breast and in her brain oh god thank you jesus that even right now you are causing those tumors to begin we thank you also lord god for sister lita gomez for completely healing her from gout from colloid from goiter lord god and for having a poor eyesight lord thank you that you are touching sister lida's body from the top of her head onto the sole of her feet thank you jesus that by your wounds she is healed and you are claiming oh god for her full and quick restoration in the name of jesus we also thank you lord god for always keeping her safe and protected wherever she goes we also believe lord god for the healing and quick restoration of sister yoli aguhar from having this rheumatoid arthritis thank you lord because you are a great jehovah rafa the god that heals and the god that restores we are believing lord god for the complete healing of your people because this is your will we love you and we honor you all these things we ask in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen thank you so much for joining us we are so happy to be part of your life god bless you Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a wonderful time having you here in Senior Moments to Remember. Before we go, we'd like to ask again, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you want to share a testimony of anything good that the Lord has done in your life, please share it with us. We would love to rejoice with you. All good and perfect gift comes from our Heavenly Father. And we rejoice with you. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for your goodness and for the blessed time that we've had. And I ask, oh God, that for Tata and for Nanay, as they move into the weekend, Lord, let them have a great time in your house. Let them have a great time in your presence, worshiping, Lord, dancing, raising their hands, Lord, and just letting their hearts be filled with all the good things that comes from you. Father, thank you so much. There is no one like you. I pray, Lord, that you bless Tata and Nanay right now as they go on their way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you again for Senior Moments to Remember. Moments to remember.